I've got a feeling that there'll be a lot of uh, music played at this game, so I'll be shutting it off every time the whistle blows because of copyrighted music. Uh, Calvin Castine at Saranac Central School, the 20th day of February 2024, and the high school CBAC season is about to come to a halt here as Northeastern Clinton is visiting Saranac on their senior night. Rebounded there by Magoon. He pushes it out to Marshall. And on the floor, we got the first pass of the game by Gordon Brown. A two pointer. He shoots a lot of successful three pointers. Uh, a little tough to uh, get an angle where we could just see the floor and not have to stand up. So we decided here we got a balloons in front of us. But uh, we'll live with that. It'll be Marshall inbounding it. We got uh, Marshall, Brown, Rabidou, Castine, and Magoon on the floor for the Cougars. And let's see, the referees are Joey Reef and uh, Donnie Quinn. Let's see who's out there for. Saranac, uh, we see 23, that would be Lucas Pierce. 40 is Carson Duffield. What do we got over here? 11, that'd be Bryce D'Angelo. Two is Caswell McCoy. And it looks like five, that would be Gabe Kaye. Cougars coached by Luke Connell. And they've got a bunch of guys in the bench. We'll try to give you both rosters if time allows, or a foul shot or something. We'll give you both, uh, both rosters. Off the rim, rebounded by that big Duffy old boy. 6.40 to go here in the first quarter. Just ignore those balloons if you can. Falls off the rim. Magoon with the rebound. Brown will bring it into the forecourt. Playoffs are ahead. These teams could face each other in the playoffs. Last time we were here, the uh, Cougars defeated Saranac. And uh, in the last game of the girls' uh, season, regular season, the uh, Cougar girls defeated the Saranac uh, club. And they're expected to probably be in the championship game of the Class B playoff round. Gives them four points. Oh, four points in the game have been scored by Brown up until right now when uh, McCoy scores to put Saranac on the board. Brown hits a tray for Brown seven. They're in act two. That's going to be off the mark. So I have to keep it. Knocked loose by Brown. Magoon wrestling with Duffield. <laughs> the uh, music and entertainment provided tonight by, I think it's Mike Gasline's called Big Something Productions. I don't know. They're doing a nice job here. He's, Introduced all the senior stuff and the and the opening lineup. The lookout. So some guy on the radio down here. That might be Wiry. I'm not sure. Could be Trombley if it is. A good timeout for the the Spartans. D'Angelo inbounds underneath the Duffield. It's skipped away. Marshall has it. Brown into the forecourt. This is it up for Magoon, and he is fouled. Quickly for Saranac, Ben Yanilovich is zero, Caswell McCoy two, Carter Siskabich three, Gabriel Ka five, Bryce D'Angelo 11, Zach Lucia is uh, number 12. This is Magoon at the line. Uh, who else we got here? Isaiah Gagne, 13. That's what we got. I'm going to text here. And we got uh, nine nothing now. Uh, uh, 
Henry Knapper, 14, Jaden Spear, 15, Lucas Pierce, 23, Camden Clark, 24, Xavier Dubay, 32, and Carson Duffield, 40. Gastein saved it. Marshall shot a little too far up over the net. 4.40 to go, 9-2 Northeastern. And rebounded by Castine. he is bumped, no whistle. And he did not travel, so no harm, no foul. For the Cougars, James Wells, one, Jordan Brown, two, Sam Prairie, three, Ashton Turner, 10. Max Rabideau, 34, Logan Tremblay, 13, Talon Rabideau, 20, Kyle Marshall, 22, Logan Magoon, 23, Colton Castine, 24, Saad Watsuni, 32, Josh Sisko, 33, and Owen Timmons is number 50. Blocked there by K.A. And blocked there by the Cougars. A pass is blocked. So if it was Marshall or Brown or both, but not loose by McCoy. And he'll bring it into the forecourt. 3.33 to go here in the opening period. They're inviting it to Duffield, but Magoon knocked it away. Last time, bounce pass. Nicely done to Rabidou. 11 4 Cougars. Three minutes and one second to go in the first quarter. Yes, Ken and Joan are here. Ken Bushy and Joan Bushy. Dean and Debbie are here. Dean and Debbie Tremblay. Appreciate what they did uh, last September for the fundraiser for Hometown Cable and Mary McCaffrey and a whole lot of other people helping out, of course. Really appreciate what they did. Brown into the forecourt. Avenue. Spin move by March by Castine. That was Castine. Got to look at the shoes for I know who it is. Well, he and Avenue stopped at the same store, so. It doesn't help. Marshall, 206 to go. Brown off the iron, follows the shot. Marshall tips it to Brown. Brown throws up the jumper. And a 153 showing it's 13 4 Northeastern Clinton. And basket by K.A. Up to 13-6. And we're going to get Prairie in for the Cougars. Wow, off the glass, Marshall. Kyle Marshall with a tough, tough shot there, makes it 15-6. And we got a minute 22 as that jumper falls into the hands of Rabideau. Marshall pushes it up, Castine will find Brown. Unselfish play. It's 17 6 Cougars, 108 showing here in the first quarter. Taking it all the way in, Duffield gets the rebound. Ball hung up there just enough. And Magoon couldn't get it, and uh, he and Duffield were both flat footed when the ball finally came down. And that ball belongs to Duffield, who's several inches taller. 44 seconds to go in the opening period. 
And it'll be a two shot foul. Forty point eight on the clock, seventeen point eight on the score clock. They'll be shooting two. Prairie will come in between shots. McCoy hits. Prairie in for Marshall. Falls in, and we got a sub for Serenat. Lucia in for the Spartans. 17-10 is the score. Perry to Magoon to Brown. Colton Castine and a three-bagger. 20 to 10 now, three-point basket. Doubles the Saranac score. Eight seconds to go in the quarter. Down to two. A buzzer beater for Duffield. And that's a three-pointer for Duffield. So the big guy scores a tray. And brings his team to within seven. It's 2013 after one here on viewer supported hometown cable. It's kind of tight in here, but when I looked at the parking lot, I thought we'd have about three times as many people as what we've got in here. I'm not sure if there's something else going on at the school tonight or what. The, the down the, the downstairs, we'll call it. Parking lot stolen by McCoy. And he's, Pops it in. Oh, McCoy with a steal. Brings his team back to within five. Oh, the downstairs parking lot is stuffed with vehicles. Castine throws that up. Heck of a shot. <laughs> Just kind of threw it up there and it went in. Off the rim, rebounded by Rabideau. And they pop those balloons before the game is over. Rabideau's shot is rebounded by Duffield. 22-15 or 7-04. Here's a basket off the glass by Lucia. And it's 22-17. Brown back to, uh, to uh, Prairie. Now Brown on the fly. Uh, Duffield with the rebound. I'm going to get Turner in for the Cougars. Played away, rebounded by Castine. Prairie into the forecourt. Prairie stops. Throws it up. That was D'Angelo with the rebound. Stolen back by Prairie and stolen by McCoy. And Prairie's going to have the foul. Nice steal by Prairie, but he kind of nonchalanted it after the steal. And McCoy came out of nowhere and just snuck in there and stole it back for the Spartans. 6-12 on the clock here in the first half. Off the rim, Duffield with the rebound. And he scores. He's at least half a head taller than a the next tallest player out there. And he's half a head taller than Pierce, and Pierce is not looking down at anybody, not looking up to anybody else out there. Also, Napper is quite tall. 
That makes it a two-point ball game. It's 22 to 20 now. It's just under six to go in the first half. Somehow Magoon managed to get that shot off and it goes in. 24-20 Cougars. It was 20 to 10 Cougars at one point. As McCoy scores, so it's been 12-4 since then in favor of Saranac. Uh, what do we got? Uh, timeout for some reason. Not sure what the situation is. If it's a shot clock or or what? Not sure what that was all about. Maybe a. Added a second or two to the uh, to the shot clock. Yep, those balloons there are going to go at halftime. They're going to move them to another spot. Field takes it all the way. <laughs> he ties the ball game. He was not going to be denied on that one. Brown puts up an air ball. And we got Magoon in. He's going to replace Rabideau. 432 to go in the half. They're not all the way back from that deficit to tie the ball game. Last time with a steal. Up for Brown. Brown gets the shot off under heavy pressure. 26 to 24. Pierce. No field, nope. Rebounded, oh this is Pierce. 14 is uh, Napper. Cougar ball. Marshall. Pierce is it off, oh, off the Cougars. And you got D'Angelo back in. And he's coming in for Duffield. Give him a breather. 338 showing here in the second quarter. Two-point ball game. Stolen away by Magoon. Time working low, pushes it back out for Brown. Whoa, 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 whoa. No whistle on that. Wow. Bodies on the floor. Last time got kicked in the mouth and the side of the chin. I was kind of wondering why there was no whistle. I were laying on the floor and <laughs> bodies were flying over me. I'd be wondering the same thing. 2.53, here's the tie. Lucas Pierce tied it up at 26 each. Marshall 
misses it out, no goal. I got a whistle on that one. Two twenty two showing in the second. Fouls on Napper. Logan Magoon shooting two. Stein sneaks in to the trees to get the rebound. Chance for this Saranac club to take the lead for the first time in the game. Here goes a three-pointer. It's missed, rebounded by Magoon. Magoon gets it to Brown. Two minutes left in the half. Marshall, no. I don't think there was anybody underneath yet for the rebound. Looks it's passed, walked back to him. Now we got K A in. For McCoy, 139. Look out. <laughs> Traveling call, the Cougars got to pay attention. They're Rebound against your own man. You're going to be watching for that. Good side by Marshall to knock it loose. Brown has the ball. He'll bring it up. the heck the call was. Whatever it is, uh, Luke Connell doesn't quite agree with it. Apparently it's a foul on uh, Magoon and Duffield scores. Put his team up 28-26. He just did not uh, Getting much luck there in those trees. Fifty two point six. The field and Magoon grabs thirty eight. I'm out, Cougars. Revenue will inbound, 30 on the shot clock. We're hoping to spread out the defense. Just on in the high post. Seven on the shot clock. Marshall with the rebound. And time runs out. Oh, as the dust settles, it's 28 26. Sarnak leading the Cougars at the half here on viewer supported hometown cable. We've moved. So it's midcourt now. Duffield with a fadeaway, rebounded by Marshall. 
for Brown. Brown. Three second violation underneath. And back into the forecourt. McCoy. McKay. Brown. Brown throws it in. Ties the game, 28-28. And that's uh, Pierce scoring. Thirty twenty-eight now. This is Rabideau with a shot off the pass from Magoon from a K, um, uh, Marshall. Who's the foul on? Foul it both ways. Foul on Castine. According to Mr. Reef. And Saranac Ball. Knock loose. And that gets it back. Uh, easy basket there for Pierce. Gives his team a four point lead. Marshall. Brown. Throws it up in the paint and scores. As 32 30. 5.55 to go. And wrestling on the floor here. It's going to be a jump ball, I would assume. The inbounded by Brown. We got what's whistle at this end. What's the problem here? Not sure. Brown into Castine. Marshall. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Bumped on the head. Rejected by Brown. And Prairie's going to come in for Marshall. 5.31 in the third. That is missed. And put back by Pierce. Thirty-four thirty. Saranac. Foul is on Magoon, his third. Team second. Three point play. Five point lead, 35-30. Whoa! Castine was not expecting that pass. Rebounded by Brown. Prairie to Brown. Nice follow, but Prairie couldn't get it to fall. Castine rebounds. Out to Brown, Castine looking about, looking for a three, gives it to Brown. Rabideau will try a 22-footer. Drops it in. 
That's a two-point game, 35-33 now. And rebounded by Prairie. To Brown. And off White. Castine couldn't get the rebound, but he managed to bounce it off Pierce. 4.27 on the clock. Prairie will inbound. Brown turns around underneath. And he'll be called for the foul. That'll be his first, team third. Cernak has not been called for a foul yet in the second half. Well, McCoy will bring it up. Field. <laughs> a little bit bigger than everybody else on the floor, and it uh, comes in handy. Underneath, nice pass, but. Now, there's a case. Castine had the ball and his arm was grabbed. <laughs> his arm was grabbed and he was called for the foul. But he couldn't get his arm out of there. His arm was grabbed <laughs> and uh, he gets the foul. So he gets his third foul. Uh, probably be number four on Magoon. Yep, Magoon gets his fourth. There comes Turner. 5 fouls on the Cougars. Cernak has yet, yet to be called for a foul here in the second half. Duffield. Six point lead now for Saranac, 39-33. Cougar timeout. Three forty-six showing in the third. Six point lead now for Saranac, 39-33. Rebounded by K.A. No walk. Nuffield, you're not going to stop him. The only thing you can do is hope to keep him from getting the rebound to begin with. Eight point lead now. Gaston drives the paint and he's fouled. Oh! First foul on Saranac comes at 3.01. Uh, number five, that's the K.A. A new shot clock. Brown will throw it up for three. Well, Turner was down. called on Turner and technical
2.45 to go. In the third quarter, Pierce Meek misses the first. Missed them both. Those were the technicals. But they're in a double bonus, so he's going to shoot two more. So those were the double bonus shots. This is the technicals now. <laughs> you ever have one of those nights? <laughs> Pierce probably doesn't even want to take this last one. <laughs> Can somebody else shoot for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> on senior night besides uh, he said I'll never forget senior night I missed four shots in a row four foul shots in a row Duffield he's a head taller than any cougar Brown scores. <laughs> That's time got his work cut out trying to keep Duffield away from the basket. And Pierce didn't miss that one. Plays it in, gives the team a seven point lead. Prairie out for Brown. Rolls the rim. Gaston on the floor. The field with the rebound. McCoy gives to Pierce. No foul. And that'll make it a nine point lead, I think, right now. Wait a minute. Scoreboard had said 47-38. Now it says 45-38. So I don't know what the heck the score is. It's a seven point lead at the moment. No. I think the scorekeeper hit too many buttons in a row here. <laughs> <coughs> So Marshall back in for Pierce. So the basket wasn't good, so he's shooting two. And he makes one. <laughs> so hopefully for him, his jinx is over. 46-38. Marshall shot is blocked. Abadou to Turner to Brown. And Duffield clears the rebound. <clears throat> McCoy gives to Gabriel Kaye and Turner gets the rebound. 112 to go in the third. Castine to put up the rebound. And 46-40, 50 58 seconds in the third. Knocked loose by Brown. And Marshall is tackled. I took a fast break away from the Cougars. Napper will come back in. They give Duffield a breather. And it looks like Prairie's in for Castine. Prairie to Prairie to Brown. 42 seconds. 
20 on the shot clock. Prairie, oh, no double dribble. Saranac wanted a double dribble. Rebounded by D'Angelo. 21 seconds. Saranac will look for the last shot. They've got a six point lead. Eight seconds. That'll be the third foul on Saranac in the quarter. 2.3. Foul on Pierce. It's second. But only 2.3 to go. Lucia in. Replacing McCoy. Marshall. What accounted? For 46 40. Karnak leads after three here on viewer supported hometown cable. Angelo will toss it in. The final eight minutes are underway. Saranac ball. A walk. And to, to Brown. What you gotta do. You can't get that rebound, I say, just about every game. You can't get the rebound. Tip it out of the, the other guy's hand. That cuts the deficit in half. For the Cougars, 46 43 now. Shot is up and rebound is loose. So that gets it. Good diving there. Rebound Marshall. Not sure who dove and got that, re that ball, that loose ball, but a nice job there by Saranac. Rabideau for three would have tied it. And Marshall picks it up. Brown stepped in front. Forced the dribbler to change blocks. Change his dribble and the marshal was able to steal it. So here's McCoy back in. 46-43, Saranac by three, six, 38. Left in the fourth quarter. Brown throws it up. Comes McCoy, and Marshall's going to be called for a foul. Duffield back in, we'll play some napper. Six and a half to go. Prairie picks up his third foul. Pierce at the line. And Pierce shoots another foul shot successfully. Magoon back in with his four fouls. Back to a six point lead, and Sarnak's gonna get the ball. Out of bounds. McCoy grabbed the ball and stepped out of bounds. Now 
picked up by McCoy. Shot there by Zach Lucia. His geometry teacher would be proud of him on that one. Jump ball. Cast time back in. In for Prairie. Five forty-nine. Marco on the fly. Oh! a leap. Got that rebound. And Duffield. Five and a half going. Taking it in was Lucia. And he gives his team a 10 point lead, 53 to 43. Brown, Lee Brown's. Marshall shot, now Rabbit will try a lot. <laughs> under five to go. Goes for the reverse. Five point ball game, 53 48. 436 on the clock. Stealing Rabidou. Block on McCoy, not loose. Timeout. Field for a short jumper is good. On the elbow. Seven point lead, Marshall into the four court. Boom. Duffield. Slow to get up. It's okay. Brown. Fifty-five remaining. Cernak has a seven-point lead and the ball. Marshall sneaks up and steals it. Last line follows. Lays it in. Pierce interfering. Giving a warning. Next one, either team interferes with the ball after it goes through the net. It'll be a technical. And Sarnak takes it away. Marshall. 
Duffield. To McCoy. 57-52, under three to go. A big basket there for McCoy. Is the team back to seven point lead. Round to Rabidou. Nope. Marshall follows. Marshall. With the rebound and the short jumper. McCoy. Here. Throws it in. And it's 61 54. Sixty-one fifty-four. I think those were the home run totals for Maris and Mano back in 1961. Three fouls in the Cougars, 223 to go in the fourth, and nothing on the Sarnak, the star in the fourth. Seven point Sarnak lead. Marshall drives, loses it. Castine's there, picks it up and puts it in. Timeout, Cougars. Saranac ball. 2 11 remaining. D'Angelo will toss it in to Lucia. It says 61 56 now. Five point difference. Somehow, Pierce was wide open underneath. A hole in the Cougar defense. Castine will throw three up. Air ball pulled down by Lucia. Lucia up for Pierce. Renak looking to take some time off each possession here, D'Angelo. Baseline shot, no, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, Marshall got an elbow on the, on the cheek and neither ref had the angle to see it, but it was quite obvious from this angle, <laughs> time out, oh, well, at 109, it's obvious the Chiefs are going to win this game here on on senior night and beautiful downtown Pickett's Corners. The, uh, these teams are both class B, so they may or may not meet somewhere in the sectionals. Marshall to Rabidou, Castine. <laughs> Intended for Rabidou, Marshall steals it and puts it in. There's too much of the passing going on here. I want to score. Six point ball game. Castine with a steal. It's a four-point game. Cougars with the press. Castine almost had the steal. And timeout, Saranac. 41.4 to go. Sixty-five, sixty-one. Saranac ball. Four-point lead. 33 on the shot clock. Granak will probably try to get as much time off that clock as they can. Wow, wow, what an angle for Marshall's shot. That's a two point game. Whoa! Marshall with the foul. Buffield will have to earn him at the foul line. Fourth foul on the Cougars. Saranac has not fouled here in the 
I've been called for a foul here in the fourth quarter. Buckfield makes it a three-point game. 29.8. He can make it a two-possession game right here. And he misses it. Cougar ball, Brown. Three-pointer for Tyre. Rabidou for the tie, no. Turner. Fifth team foul on the Cougars. D'Angelo will shoot. 19.1 remaining. Needs to make one to Make it a two possession game. in the game. Timeout, Cougars. Cougars, all they can do is go for a steal. <laughs> Rabbit tapping him on the back and Don Quinn just looking at him. The rabbit says, what the heck do I got to do to get a whistle? <laughs> but, Saranac has not fouled here in the fourth quarter. They went a long time in the third without being called for a foul. So D'Angelo misses the first, 2.7 on the clock. Saranac just should back off on defense with the Cougars. That was... Uh, Saranac should not have tried to block that foul. If they fouled him and he had made that desperation throw, they could have had a chance to tie it. Saranac should not have been up trying to block that shot. But they hang on for 67-63 victory on senior night, and that's the way it was. February 20th, 2024, you're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable, TV worthy of your support. Thank you for watching.